Hi, my name is Nicole and I'm on a mission to find the best boba in the world. This episode brings us to a place known for their amazing tapas, beautiful parks, super cool architecture, the capital of Spain, Barcelona. <laughs> The first shop we tried was called Zen Zoo. It's the most highly rated shop in all of Barcelona. So honestly, we expected a lot. And when I say highest rated, this place literally has over 900 reviews and it's four and a half stars. The line out the door only added to the expectation. We tried three drinks, Mango Madness, a Korean grapefruit with yuzu drink, and a matcha latte. All of them were really average and only one really stood out and that was the Korean grapefruit with yuzu. The next shop was just around the corner and it was called Bobolitas. While getting drinks from there, we left our drinks from Zenzu at a table outside. Once we came back outside, there was this girl and this guy sitting at our table, feet up, drinking our drinks. Like we heard to watch out for thieves in Barcelona, but this, it was like so funny. Honestly though, I felt kind of bad throwing away the drinks from Zenzu, so I'm glad somebody was enjoying them. <laughs> she probably got sick though, cause I was sick. When am I not sick, honestly though? After a full night of sleep and with the jet lag subsiding, we were ready to search for more boba. We came into this super low-key place called Buscate, and I really hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's super cute, it had a wall of instant ramen as well as waffle puffs, some other food, and of course, boba. Joel was the worker who helped us out, and he was super chill. You can give him some love, here's his handle. We are joined by Ia Copoliani. You may have seen her in our video in Ukraine, she helped make boba there. So this is a sparkling drink. And strawberry, blueberries, there's real fruits in here. But they put basil seeds in here. I don't know why. That looks good. Mia got like a brown sugar milk tea. Try it. I want to drink. Can I? Whoa, these basil seeds are weird. You didn't get any boba. <laughs> <laughs> it was ice. I put it in back. <laughs> ice? People from Europe don't like ice for some reason. Do you like it? I think ours were better. It's not sweet, that's the problem. My drink is way Maybe. too sweet. I told them zero, then they looked at me weird, and I was like, okay, 25. This drink is really good, but it's very sweet. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, my love. Ours is very, very plain. This is just like a plain milk tea. Okay. What are you doing? Shh. Okay. Nice. Can I eat? This is our third boba in Spain. It's been very average thus far. The best thing has been the yuzu, the Korean yuzu for drink. While Joel was super cool and helpful, Buscate didn't really impress. When we were losing all hope, we found some of the best boba, not just in Barcelona, but in general. It's a small store called Panda Cha. First of all, this place looks like a hipster cafe you'd see in LA. And that's not even me roasting them. That's like honestly just a compliment. They even had metal straws for customers who wanted to drink their drinks at the store to use. So that was like super cool. Maria was like the most helpful person ever. She treated us to free mochis and even gave us a list of things to do in Barcelona. Like honestly, 11 out of 10 person. How do you pronounce this? Panda chop. Panda chop, I think. I don't know. They've been open for two years. The last three boba shops we went to, their boba has been very underwhelming, so Kayla tried their boba ahead of time to make sure it was... My this boba. is the best one we've been to so far. Boba is sweet. Just sweet enough to add like a tiny bit of sugar to the drink itself. And the tea is steeped really well. It's not bitter, but it's not watery either. So Ia's trying for the first time a cheese foam. It's a mango mousse. So you gotta, you have to take this little heart off. Why? Sip the cheese foam. Cause you have to drink ah. it separately. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> and then take a sip of the drink. Oh. Mm. <laughs> final, oh, final yeah. verdict. Mm. This is Ia's like fifth boba drink in her entire life. Yeah, they yeah. have boba The last two sucked, so she's only had like one good drink in her entire life. life. Whole life. Yeah, it's good. What do you mean your whole <laughs> life? We made boba in Ukraine. Without mango. Yeah, but this is better because they have like really ingredients. You have to bring everything with you. We didn't have mango. Today. I have something no called mango. Go <laughs> really? What do you eat your tahini with? <laughs> called dodo fruta. It's passion fruit tea with like every fruit in the world except mango. There's oranges, <laughs> blueberries, passion fruit, watermelon, and strawberries. Yeah, it's like a fruit what cup. do you think of the cheese foam? It's really good. Cool. Because a lot of cool. people think that cheese foam is nasty. But then again, like, people eat cheesecake all the time. This is really good. It's like kind of like a mango smoothie. So this is... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it was just 
still sing? Mm. This is a jasmine tea with grapefruit. That's it. There's no sugar. This one is we've all clearly mm. tried this one already. But <laughs> this cheese foam is very cheesy. Grapefruit I normally like don't get because it's very bitter, but this one, this one's mm. <laughs> this one is mm. final so really Okay, nice. this is probably the best boba in yeah. Barcelona. Yeah, I'm gonna call it right now. There's maybe one other place we wanted to try, but this is this doesn't have that well, many we're not going anymore. Because we're coming back here. Yeah, like this is not the most rated place. The ones that were the highest rated, they are not. That, they're not good, honestly. They were honestly, highest. they were bad. I like it because you can taste the tea. The boba is really well cooked, and it's actually sitting in a syrup. What we found in Europe is nobody puts their boba in anything. If you're gonna spend an hour cooking your boba, flavor it, please. I hope we're saying the name right because this is the best. Oh, best boba in Barcelona. Might be the best boba that I've had in Europe. Yeah. Honestly, actually. Maybe. Wow, you're blessed. Not like I'm a world traveler and been to every country in Europe, but. <laughs> Not only is this the best boba shop in Barcelona. We got some mochi for free. This is a vegan one. Barcelona gave us some amazing food, beautiful scenery, and some really average boba. But it only takes one place to make it all worth it, and Panda Cha outshined all the okay boba shops because we'd consider it one of the best in all of Europe. I want to give a special thank you to Maria from Panda Cha for being super helpful, and of course to my friends Kayla and Ia for tagging along and trying some boba. The journey to find the best boba is going to continue in 2020, so we'll see you then. It smells like fake.